Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to our channel and another segment of why you telling my business don't be telling my business why because I can can and I can 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 I can can and I will this is a disgrace video this is a woman that's privileged that's a part of the Hollywood scene and people tend to give them a one-up even when they should give them several downs and ask them to have several seats okay because first and foremost they are human beings they are not above the law if they do an infraction i don't care who they are what they stand for they gotta toe the line and they must be treated just like any other american citizen out here in these streets whether it's globally whether it's locally or where it is stately okay the rules should apply to everybody that's a human being regardless of race creed color culture or status in life that is the basis of this particular video on this particular queen who's acting ratchet out there acting like she's simple and got no cooth about herself no type of embodiment of what a productive citizen should look like and be like i know y'all gonna say here you go hating on another black person or hating on another woman no it has everything to do about morals ethical ethics uh leadership the, the uh, responsibility you play in society by being in a higher platform you, you know you up there you know calling yourself maybe rich and famous however you deem yourself but you put yourself in a fishbowl when you want to come out there and be a part of the world and the masses of anything in the industry whether it's your art is music being an actress the theater role anything where it consumes for people to look up to you admire you and want to role model themselves after you that's the ball that that's the the court you put yourself in the court of public opinion okay miss tiffany haddish whom we all deemed had it all going together for herself all right she even went back to her heritage of what she wanted to become and be like she even went home to visit her grandparents and they even gave her land for a a, a birthday present or something to that but she went back to visit her grandfather and they were doing all that you know bonding time and this that and the third you would thought she had it correctly hell no and then when she <coughs> called herself getting it together i don't know if she's living here now in atlanta or she's filming down here or whatever but i'm like why you gotta bring your trash down here I mean, it's almost like Atlanta has transitioning and it's transforming to a baby Hollywood. Hollywood, California, with all the weirdos up there bringing everything to the South that's ungodly, unworthy, unethical, unmoralistic. The value is basically based on, I'm going to do what I want. Alice the Crowley type shit going on. And ain't nobody going to stop me and tell me different. But I'm like, maybe society and our humans here can, but the Lord Jesus Christ will. He's going to come back and judge us all. All right, that's all I got to say. So, if you're walking the walk, you better be talking the talk or vice versa. But, facts, what we can tell you. <sighs> Tiffany Haddish was out here drinking and driving. And I'm like, girl, I'm glad nobody got hurt. Nobody was involved in an accident or a death. Because even on medications, it tells you certain medications said do not drive. This medication may, call, may cause impairment. Meaning it may put you down like you've been drinking real hard, smoking weed real hard. Or it impairs your vision. It impairs your ability to think straight. It impairs your ability to drive, walk, whatever. That means stay your ass in the house or somebody's house until you become causing, causing, excuse me, causes it, causes it, causes it, something like y'all know where I'm going. When your uh, functions, your thinking, your seeing, your hearing, all your God given abilities are there. 
and focused on you making very good decisions. Causes it. I'm going to get it when I get offline, the, the right way to pronounce it. But y'all know where I'm going with it, okay? My family's small. But anyway, um, you are a celebrity that comes with some type of privilege. Because I'm still trying to figure out why we have celebrities that, so, depending on where they are, what state they're in, what country, they choose to have them take photo pics when they've been arrested. Uh, for whatever crime or infraction they had. Why some of them have to have that bar plate with the numbers in back of you that's telling your height and everything. You know, just putting you out on blast. While some other celebrities don't get that treatment. They go up there like they taking a picture at the DMV, driver motor vehicle place. You know, to get their snapshot of their picture. They're like they doing that. I'm like, damn, you just got convicted in the public eye or in the police's eyes of doing some type of infraction yours was dui driving on the influence why the hell are you up there taking a picture smiling like you taking a photo op with a fan or something i never understood that i'm like if they did a crime and they finna be punished for that crime i don't get treat them as equal as another person right off the street playing folk they did the same crime but you're gonna take a, a snapshot of her or him smiling because they're a celebrity and you gonna have them little bars in the back giving their height and stuff and a little plate to go around their neck and stuff like that like where they got arrested where they got arrested and the number we're gonna identify them as because once they get in jail they just be known by numbers they don't be known as you know uh their name or they don't have an identity no more. They just uh one 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 one. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But now that don't happen. And this health went down here in Peachtree City. See that's a, that's what I'm talking about. Portia Williams. I'm I'm showing y'all mug shots of different reality celebrities or celebrities that, you know, made it big through their acting skills, their musical talents or what have you. Okay. Um yeah, why they get that privilege? No, I need to see you all dressed up like you done did a crime. And I need you to be in that jumpsuit. Alright, even if it's a 24-hour hole or you're going to be there for a long-ass time. I need you to be in a jumpsuit. Alright? But anyway, I just thought, I thought that was just very weird. But then again, we're dealing with society, um, celebrity ship, celebrity Tory. You know, it's like we're celebrating them and their misdeeds. And we're rewarding them, for, you know, from doing a bad thing in society. But we're still rewarding them. We're not letting them be deemed that, you know, bad. You know, but I'm like, they're people. They're individuals. If I did the same crime that celebrity did, why am I going to get uh, punished more harshly than that that celebrity? That that don't make sense, right? But I, I did say, hey... The one who holds the cradle rules the world. Or better yet, those who have power run the world. I'm just saying. And then, uh, why they fines? Like Tiffany Haddish, she got a fine. They said $1,600. Why her fine wasn't more than that? Okay. Uh, set the presence. Um, we need it to be 100000 Okay. Small as it is, you can afford it. Okay. You're going to do... The same crime but get punished less than an ordinary Joe or Jane. Okay, so we need you to pay a higher fine. And then if you think that's unfair, keep living. It seems like the people, uh, we, the working class pay taxes. The rich folks that we buy all their consumer goods from, they pay less taxes. They evade paying taxes, but they still live a lavish lifestyle. Tell me where that is. Where that's fair at? But anyway, to get back to the story at hand, Tiffany Haddish was down here in Atlanta, Georgia, out there in the affluent section of Peachtree City, where you don't have cars out there, really. You have golf car carts, okay? Their children go to school in golf carts. You see what I'm saying? Yes, that's the type of format we got down there. It's rich in land development. They have acres on their property when they buy homes. And I was kind of giving y'all a feel of... You know, what you can partake of when you're in Atlanta and when you live here with sections of housing or houses that are around the area. Just to give you a little feel in case you don't know or you haven't visited Georgia, you don't know about Georgia surroundings. And it's uh, more than likely 30 to 45 minutes from uh, Peachtree City 
to downtown Atlanta if you want to come and get the city life and stuff like that and visit, you know, Fox Theater, which ain't nobody doing none of that. That's too clo close for proximity for the COVID-19 spread, okay? So, some have tried to open back up, but usually, you know, come on now. You got to shut it back down. Got too many people ain't acting right out here. They privileged. They feel they don't want to get no and vaccination. I feel like this. If you ain't coming in contact really with nobody on a daily basis, fine. You don't have to get it. Or you old or seniors senior citizen and you really don't go around a lot of people and you already up in them 70s and 80s and nah, no i wouldn't do that to your system because you you know like i said you got more years behind you than you got ahead of you so this you know be in the spirit of the lord let him continue to protect you even once they got the injection of vaccinations you know some of us like myself i felt like i didn't have a choice you know my livelihood was being threatened uh because m my particular job you had to, you had to get it it was no you know no ill will towards it but they were basing it on the greater good of their company and society and they wanted to basically you know make sure everybody was good even though it was kind of fringing on our you know our socialization and how we view how we want to live our life you know some people left some people stayed i stayed okay but we had to make a choice so that's just my deal. You get it if you don't want to get it. But, hey, I'm going to have to be double masked out there now because I don't want the shit no more. And I am going to, well, like I said, I really don't go out a lot. My mom don't go out a lot. So, I don't know where we got it from, to tell you the truth. I know my daughter and my son-in-law, they were saying that they had a very big outbreak. I know we had an outbreak on our job. Uh, but we all work in offices. We all have our own offices. So, we come in contact with each other, but not really. But I guess when you don't pollute the air, because you don't know if somebody just coughed or, you know, we have clients coming in. You don't know if they coughed or sneezed or whatever. And it's still circulating. And you know, me, I ain't trying to wear my mask when I don't see nobody. You know, if I'm in the office and I know I'm just going out of my office for a quick second, I don't see nobody. Because them, them masks be hard to breathe. And now that I have pneumonia and I'm still trying to work my way back, I still have labored breathing that I never had before. Because I never had pneumonia before. <coughs> so, it's a big change for me. So, again, you know, don't banter me. Don't come over here and bash me about, oh, you sniffling too much or, or you, you coughing this, that. That's normal shit. Okay, if you can't get with me, can't get with my style of living and my defects and my flaws, get the hell out of my channel. That's all I'm going to say about it. That's how I feel about it. Okay, but don't come for me. You can come from the content. You can come for whatever, but don't come for my physical illnesses. All right. Because I had to check somebody in the family chat room. You know what I'm saying? I give y'all to have y'all opinions. That's cool, crazy, and, and, and delicious. I tell see crazy sex is cool. It's all good with me in the neighborhood. But just damn, be respectful. You know what I'm saying? I don't go out here and mess with, with people with disabilities or their mental uh, illnesses or their mental, uh, not mental, but medical uh, conditions. You know? We only go for the infraction that they did out there that's not citizen citizenship-like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. But I just went on a rant. But y'all understand who those who love me, care about me, and, and, and appreciate me. I ain't talking to y'all. I'm talking about these one night uh, fly-by people that want to come stop by the house and think they can get in. Now, we may invite you in, but that don't mean we're going to keep you. Okay? Just, just, you know, just throwing it out there. Okay? But going back to the thing. <sighs> and then you got to bail out within 24 hours. You know, we don't, regular people that do, you know, drunken disorderly conduct crimes of uh, driving on influence hell fighting out in public stealing um whatever type of infraction we don't get the bailed out in no 24 hours you know what i'm saying it's a process but when you are the part of the fluent celebrity ship celebratory uh group you get special treatment never understood that shit either i'm like aren't we all human beings whether we got money or not but like i said money rules the world doesn't it? okay just keeping it all in perspective. And I hope you don't get uh, accosted or some ag uh, advocate person from the MAD organization. If you don't know what MAD is, M-A-D-D, -D, it's Mothers Against Drunk Driving, baby. And they are a force to be reckoned with. Now, you didn't have an incident, from what I understand, uh, of them pulling you over and probably not knowing who you were, but when they ran your credentials or whatever, it may have popped up as, okay, we got a 
crazy one here that think they're overwhelmed with life and this that and the third they're a celebrity oh my gosh so everything goes out the window we're gonna have to treat them with the white glove treatment okay to me that's bullshit but and the officer that pulled them over they probably know who probably knew who they were and probably was apologizing to him and everything and saying you know it's my job i have to do it you know I don't have it like you, so I have to follow pro. That shouldn't even even be said. But I'm sure some officers of the law, they run into celebrities and they try to kowtow down to them and try to explain their process. But when it comes to an everyday uh, joker like me, they like uh, license and registration, please. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be like, well, I'll, uh, license and registration, please. Okay? And don't go leaning like you finna go, you know, get something out your car. Because they ready to just pull out their glocks and everything. And now in Georgia, I've noticed, they don't come up on the driver's side no more. I don't know if that's a new technique they uh, learned in class or training or somebody brought it out to them. Honey, they go to the passenger side and they want you to roll your window down so they can get a good view. I'm like, hey, what kind of shit is this? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, y'all need to go back to the drawing board and just let do an open panel for just regular citizens to come and see what y'all are implementing to see if it's a no-go <laughs> for us because hey we don't know we don't know if you're a real car you coming up on the side that's you know that's giving me caution to be warned to uh, do i need to be rolling down my window for you because i'm on the other side what the hell are you doing on the opposite side and you're gonna try to answer questions or ask me questions way from the other side like you're a passenger or something that's some bullshit too but okay we're going to go back to the matter at hand. And that's this little woman on shave her head. Because she was coming out of a relationship with Common, the artist. The music artist or whatever. And something. He's in film and, 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 and plays and all this shit too. So I guess he's a theater man as well as a musician man of the arts. Okay. In the industry. But anybody that knew anybody about Common or anything about Common. Common ain't never staying in a relationship. He's always been a hoe. He, he, I think he just want to be half slash married. But probably not even that. He just want to live with folks and, and, and be in harmony. And still be able to go run around with any other person he want to choose to. Whatever day he feel like he want to. But you know because even that breakup they had. Um, the story that he told. that It was very different from what she had told. And she kind of got offended about the situation. I said see baby he just lied to you. You ain't the first and you definitely won't be the last. Okay? Get over it. Get with it. Alright? You're grown. You, you should know about these things. I'm sure you had boyfriends in the past that it didn't work out or whatnot. Common is no different. He's a man. But yet he's a celebrity. You should have been taking in them sights and seeing Atlanta for what it's worth. Going to the zoo Atlanta. Going to the Fossey Aider. Touring. Going uh, underground Atlanta. Um going to the park where they got the ferris wheel going around you know but then again I, I i don't know what you were doing here like i said you could have just been working and i don't i and don't get me wrong i understand i understand you have had losses but then with that hair color change that cutting the hair off and you trying to i guess kill your old self and be reborn into a new self i don't know what kind of ritual process you were going through but that's just what i see because i got a conspiracy theorist mind on on deck as well and both of them be correlated you know what I'm saying? I be in reality. Then I be going on thinking behind the scenes. I be trying to uh, be doing my critical thinking, logical reasoning s skills, you know, that I learned in school. I be trying to think street smart. You know what I'm saying? I'm one dimensional over here. I'm multifaceted over here. So I, I don't just look at a situation. Sometimes I have to look beyond that situation to see why we're in the situation that we're in. Did y'all catch that? Okay, I hope y'all did because I'm not going back. All right. But. Like I said, you just recognize yourself as Jewish descent. You get into the bar mitzvah scene. You're learning about the culture. You have your past culture. You're trying to intertwine the two. Um, you, you just inher got inherited some land from your country. Uh, and your grandfather. Everybody's doing well over there. Um, we understand your grandmama died. We understand your dog died. Like I said, I under empathize with you. Well, I sympathize with you because I know what it is to lose a family member. I know what it is to lose a grandmother on both sides of my family, uh, my mother and my father's side. I know what it feels to have a relationship 
uh, just die for whatever reason. You know, we're just not getting along. The relationship is just dead. I, I don't know. The magic was lost. But you've been married before. I've been married before. We've both been divorced. Okay, we've both been in situations where we couldn't stay in relationships for whatever the reason was. Okay. I had a, 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 a my son, my furry pet, my baby, my you know, my everything when it comes to furry creatures. He died in October of last year. So, and I had him for almost 16 years, baby. Okay? And, you know, I've had close friends die, close family members die. You know, these things that hit you hard. I heard Bob Saget was one of your closest comedian friends. And some guy named Carl Craig, you know. They left this plane of existence and moved on to better things. We're hoping. Because uh, this world is hell down here. So, I'm hoping for a new resurrection into something that the Lord deemed me to be a part of. Something beautiful. Something that's stressful. I don't have to be worried about my body being destroyed. You know what I'm saying? And all that stuff. Just happy times, happy times, happy times. Um, at least that's what I feel is promised to me. And I want to get there. You know, I don't want them having the gates to shut me out. I want to have light in my lamp or oil in my lamp. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I know I have things to uh, repent for. And I try to repent for them every night when I can think about them. But, you know, my mind's getting old now. And, hell, it's, I, I, I forget what I just wanted to say half the time when I be on my uh, show talking to you all. You know, it's just it. You know, you have so much on your mind. You be stressed out. You forget shit. Even when you're young. Because my daughter, 30-something years old. Well, she's 30 years old. She'll be 31, God willing, this year in March. But she forgets shit. And I'm like, girl, you're the youngest one in the house. So what the hell are you, you forgetting shit for? You know what I'm saying? Hell, I think my daughter's dog forgets shit. <laughs> like, he don't know if he want to scratch his ass or scratch his belly. I'm like, what? You know, when we be trying to get him to eat or having a conversation with him, he be looking at me like, if you want to get the hell out of my face, mama. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That sidebar. You know, we have here here and there okay but like I said I understand I can sympathize now when I don't or I haven't experienced something I can try to empathize with you that's what empathy is something you've never experienced before but it seems like it's, it's, it's very terrible it's destroying this person emotionally physically spiritually you know all of that but you never experienced it before so that's empathy sympathy is when you definitely can understand because you have been through some of their trials and tribulations and you know the cost, you know, or, or the emotions you were feeling at that time was very great. And so you could sympathize. But what I cannot get with is stupidity. Okay? Because they tell you when you're taking certain medications, be careful not to try. Okay? Don't partake in anything, machinery, anything that you're going to need focus for, don't do it. Okay? Just sit your ass down somewhere. Let somebody else do it for you until you can get yourself together, and you all and you're thinking on all cylinders to be able to be able to go out there, operate a car, operate a piece of uh, machinery where it don't affect you for the negative in the long run, and you don't affect somebody else's life in the long run. Okay? Because when I heard about that, I said, "Mad need to be on your ass, mother against drunk driving. You need to have some sessions with their behind, and you need to pay the cost. Because child, if anything would have happened, you would have got sentenced so badly, and society would have probably went on and forgave you. But you probably wouldn't have been, wouldn't haven't even forgiven yourself because you took somebody's life. And when you do some shit like that." That's when it becomes forgivable, but you can't forget it. You know, because you always have to forgive people for doing wrong to you and to your loved ones. Because you don't want that on your conscience. And you want to be able to live after that certain situation. You don't want to be stuck in that situation. And all that hate and, and filtration will come in. And you just lose yourself in the process. So, forgiveness is for us. Not for the person that actually infringed upon us. Or affected us in a neg negative way. It's a way for us to move on. And from that situation. Okay. But we ain't going to forget it. But you have to do the forgetting in a way of kind of forgiving. Because it still can manifest itself. But it still harms you. Okay. But you use it as a life lesson tool. To get you through other things that don't make sense. That happen to you or your loved ones. Okay. But if anything happened in that situation. I would be talking very differently. But since nothing happened. Nobody got hurt. I still would have to sentence you, Tiffany Haddish. You would have to 
um, do two weeks of prison time. And I'm talking about with the general population, baby. You can have somebody go because we know you went in there that, uh, because you killed somebody or you, you did something really, really bad in society. You know what I'm saying? But I still want you to basically be in prison, okay? In general population. Just to feel what it would have felt like if you did kill somebody. Or if you did hurt somebody to the extent where we had to put you in prison. Okay? I need you to be there for two weeks. Supervised, you know, by the correct uh, officers and stuff. So, n nothing would really affect you. But I need you to know what it feels like to be in prison for doing something. That could have cost somebody their life or cost you your life. Alright? By driving under the influence. Then I need you to have one year of volunteering to the MAD organization. Okay, one year of volunteer work, eight hours a day. Or well, we won't say eight hours a day. We'll just say eight hours in a week's time. We need you to be at whatever organization and whatever, well, MAD, or MAD organization in whatever state they preside in. We need you to do one year volunteer work so you can understand what happens when you get and do what you choose you want to do even though you're under the influence and you take somebody's life we need you to go and volunteer so you can always have that in your mind as a staple of what not to do then i need you to donate for at least one year to the mad organization just because okay just because of the fact that you did that okay so, we need to make you and hold you accountable for your actions that could have been detrimental to you or somebody else. Okay? Because you felt low one day and you felt like you wanted to pick up a bottle of alcohol. Don't know what was in it, but you just caught yourself wanting to drive around and get arrested. Okay, and then call. I'm sorry. Uh, I just been going through some stuff, and you know, I, it just was a little bit too much. Stay your ass at home, or go put yourself in bed for a clinic if that's what you having trouble to doing. Is reaching for a bottle of alcohol every time you feel blue. Okay, cause that's where you need to be, cause that seems like it's going to be an addiction for you. So we just want to just get that on out the back, you know, uh, knock that out the box, and you know, just you know. Don't even start no. Won't start no. Won't be none. Cause we know you suffered a lot. I think you really suffered because of common. And then with your grandmama passing, the one who actually raged you or whatnot, that had an effect. And your dog died. And you just keep adding on stuff. However you want. But the main point was you shouldn't have been out there driving. Period and point blank. Don't let no man take that from you. Don't let no death take that from you. You know right from wrong. So we need you to be on all cylinders up there in that head of yours and think before you do. Because you know better, so we expect you to do better. We're not giving you no passes because of your feelings and how you feel that day. No, because somebody else is suffering much worse than you. So I'm calling foul. I'm not even trying to give you any sympathy because that's the problem now. We can't get sympathy. We have to live through life through the rough ups and downs. Okay. I can give you acknowledgement that yeah I feel for you. But I can't say oh I, I, I'm going to give you a pass. No can't give you no pass. No can't pass go. Got to go to jail. You got to just suffer. Because we don't want you to do this ever again. And if you have a bad experience on something. Just like touching a stove when you're a kid. After the parents are told you don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. And when you have, a, have the opportunity because you're feeling low. And you do it. Then there needs to be consequences. You don't think when I told my daughter not to do something. When she was just little and trying to find out what her environment was about. And she saw all these wonderful things she wanted to get into. You don't think I had a lesson with her around two and three? Hell, I was having a lesson with her when she was six months, okay? And six months old, okay? But I whooping butt at one, okay? I'm like, I told you not to do that. So, consequence, pop. You know what I'm saying? That's just how I get down. 
But anyway, I don't ramble so much. Now we're just going to get into what the news wrote up about Tiffany. But I just had to tell y'all my side of the story. But we're going to just go and give you the quick, fast version scene of what NBCnews.com. Yes, Tiffany Haddish is up there. And she made propaganda news. The news they think we can use. But it's all for show. But anyway, they headline it as Tiffany Haddish arrested, accused of DUI in Georgia. The star was stopped as the vehicle pulled into the yard of a residence, officials said. All right, now I gave y'all that information of the houses, the surrounding areas, uh, of what that scene could have looked like. So she wasn't in no rundown neighborhood. Okay, not Peachtree City. They they don't have few and far between, like some ghetto down there. Nope, 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 nope. It's where the rich and famous elite affluent side live, and that's just about all of it out there. It's a very rural area. I ain't gonna say it's country land, but it kind of puts you in the mind of farming land, but it's well developed. You know what I'm saying? It's like they brought the modernization to that area, and you have the land and the acreage to do whatever you want to do with it, okay? I'm just saying. But it was written up by Samantha Kubota on January 14th, which was Friday. This is actor Tiffany Haddish, 42, is accused of DUI after an arrest in Georgia early Friday. The night school star was stopped in Peachtree City at 2.30 a.m., officials said. Was she driving at 2.30 a.m. in the morning in the wee hours? I have no idea. Do we have liquor stores open at that time? I know we have grocery stores, but I don't know if you can. Well, you probably could buy liquor uh, if you show the proper ID and you're grown. So I, I don't know, but she was out there driving at 2.30 a.m. Okay, when she should have been asleep somewhere. Okay, it says Mike. Matt Myers, the assistant chief of the um, Peachtree City Police Department, said that an officer initially observed had it stop in the road while on a different call. Later, he said someone called 911 to report a driver asleep at the wheel on Highway, highway 74. Now, how they know a driver was asleep? I have no idea. Maybe somebody was riding past her and she was swerving. And they saw she was going to her steering wheel like she was probably falling asleep or having a heart attack or something. Okay. Don't know. Just my opinion. Just from reading and giving my own self visuals in my head. Okay. It says, um... Meyer said an officer saw the car matching the description and conducted a traffic stop as a vehicle pulled into the yard of a residence. Now, see, like I said... I ain't gonna say it's almost like profiling down there in Peachtree City because you do have some affluent black people live down there and people of color. Uh, but it's kind of like a really close knit area down there. They have their own police department, they have their own polices, even in the uh, the different counties, I would say, or different areas in Peachtree City. It's like all of them are one, like a Mayberry type thing. And they always out there watching. Okay. Always out there watching. But anyway. Subsequently investigated. Or subsequent investigation led to Miss Tiffany. Haddish being arrested for driving under the influence. Myers said in an email. He said Tish, uh, Haddish was taken to Fed County Jail without incident. As of Friday night, she was not listed as an inmate at the jail. Haddish Rep did not respond to a request for comment. Haddish is best known for her stand-up comedy, which we all know, those who really know comedy, Tiffany is not funny. I feel she's a, a good supporting actress. And, you know, I like looking at her, but she she don't make me laugh. I'm sorry. It's not no ha-ha, no, no shade, no, no, no foul. Just like, no. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay. I'm with Cat Williams on that. Just because that girl's trip, she had a few written in scripts to make people laugh or not. Just depending on how she presented it. She's not like, you know, funny, funny, funny. You know, like I would call, uh, you remember on Living Single with Max or, uh, I forgot her, her name. Erica Alexander, I think it is her biological um, God-given name. Uh, but she played uh, Max, the sharp attorney, young attorney out there just burning bridges not burning bridges but just blazing with her career choice and affecting co the community in a great way and she was being a social advocate and she was actually running for different uh, state legislators positions you know just doing it on thing as an active black woman trying to make a difference in society that was her role she played on uh living single and uh she is not a comedian she's an actress and she's a producer and a um what do you call it 
shit i can't think of it right now but i know she she acts she's a producer i think she writes is what i was trying to say but um she was funny as hell to me and she was not a comedy i mean she was not a comedian (laughs) but she was funny as hell all right now kim um damn i can't kim keisha is it kim calls kim calls maxine not maxine um uh doggone what's her name uh overton's girlfriend Sinclair she was a a comedian and uh, Overton is a comedian Uh, and really I don't think uh, Kyle Barker but he is uh, damn I can't think of his name his real name Uh, but anyway we know him as Kyle he is not a uh, uh, I think he's an actor and he's a part of the theater and all that Uh, but he's a jazz singer musician but I don't think he's a comedian but he, he, he gets some laughs. I get some laughs off his ass too. So it's like sometimes you're not in the field of trying to make people laugh. But you're just naturally funny. Um, <laughs> and you know. But like I said. I, I just never saw Tiffany Haddish as a comedian. And Cat Williams can validate that as well. But Kevin Hart co-signed. You know for her. And just that and the third trying to blow her up. Out the scene where we never knew of her being on the scene like that. But then, you know, I don't like Kevin Hart. I don't like Chris Rock. They just not people that really, really make me laugh. You know what I'm saying? But Bernie Mac, Red Fox, um, uh, Richard Pryor, Martin Lawrence. Hell, even Jamie Foxx. And I don't even know if he's a comedian or not. I got some laughs off his ass. I think he is a comedian, but I can't really show. Because he be in pictures. He, he's, he's multifaceted, so I can't really say. But, uh, you, you know, I'm just saying, those people make me laugh at the drop of the hat. Did I say Cat Williams? Okay, okay. But anyway, going back to um, the article, it said, Haddish Rep did not respond to a request for comment. Haddish is best known for her stand-up comedy 2017 film, Girls Trip. She's set to appear in the Apple TV upcoming murder mystery comedy series due out later this month, The After Party. So, like I said, I found her to be a good supporting actress. Mm-hmm. Uh, other than that, the comedian com- comedy world to me, I don't think she belongs in because to me, she's not naturally funny and it just is what it is. But that's just my opinion. But I don't know, y'all. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Miss Tiffany Haddish and all this privilege of celebrity shipness that they feel they can go and do anything they possibly want and have no infractions be put on them or no type of negative. Um, stipulations put on them they just pay their way to get out of whatever situation they in and everything's supposed to be good in the neighborhood and i call foul i call no Uh uh-uh we need some punishment here we need to set the tone that when you do a certain thing you're gonna get punished you're gonna get punished just like every regular everyday joe you know out there we we and, and we're not gonna sympathize and empathize because things are just you know that's how we have laws to regulate our behavior you know some things are acceptable some things are not you know some things are good some things are not and it just gets on my nerve where you know they turn just because who they are or who we have let them become more than just human beings you know we got you know i don't but a lot of people idolize them and they put them on such a high pedestal even they can't even hold up the expectations that their fans uh, or viewers of uh, uh, um, people that like their works, body of works that they put out there, they can't even hold up to their expectations because it's unrealistic. That's why I say it. I don't care how, how you climb, you're still supposed to toe the line. You're still supposed to be a productive citizen in society and conduct yourself accordingly. And if you are suffering from the losses similar to what... Um, Miss Haddish had succumbed to prior to this incident. Get yourself some help. She can afford getting help. If you're mentally disturbed, there's several organizations and resources out there for you. Take a part of them. This should not be a PSA, personal service announcement. You are grown. You know about it. Do something about it. Be productive. Don't be destructive. Okay, but that's all I got for this video, guys. I, I, I felt some kind of way about that. I said, well, damn. I told my daughter about it. She's like, okay, yeah, I heard about it. <laughs> I guess it didn't take her fancy because she's a YouTube personality person as well. Star Trek craziness. Go look her up. She's the one that wears the turbans all the time. 
very cute that's my daughter okay she don't fall too far from the tree all right and that's me but uh y'all check her out go give her some love tell i sent people over there my family to hers and maybe we can intertwine one day because we did used to have a um a show together uh let's talk about it it was a mother and daughter show and that child got on my nerve that's why i said uh-uh I, mm -mm. that portia williams and diane Williams, uh-uh we wouldn't been that way come me and my daughter used to fight on camera child and people used to tell y'all to shut up you know what i'm saying but mm -mm, that's why i said mm -mm, i come no when i see an infraction i don't care who you if i love you enough i'm gonna waste my time and fuss with you or argue with you or have conversations with you when i don't have any of those things that means i don't give a fuck i don't care you on your own you know what i'm saying you doing too too much and i ain't gonna get my blood pressure up i'm not gonna get out of character to mess with you anymore it's when i don't say anything i don't help with you i'm telling you i don't help with you. i don't gave you up to the lord i can't deal with you because you're gonna make me come out of my personality and in a book in a great book it says don't come out your personality We're using no wines no kind of substances to take you out your character and I, I hold staff fast to that, okay? Because when that does happen, I can end up in the, in the graveyard or in jail, people. I can end up in the graveyard or jail. I don't like neither one of them because the Lord going to come for me when he get ready. When it's my time, it's my time, okay? But I ain't finna infringe upon that and make that speed that up on my own accord. Oh, no, no, no. Not going to do that. All right? So, you can all send prayers out for Tisha, Tiff. Tiffany Haddish. I, I do believe in that. Even when folk doing acting crazy and just doing crazy shit I am. Pray for them anyway. Okay? Because maybe well I know prayer will get uh, to the affected person quicker than any other deeds we think we can do. Alright? When you pray to the Lord, He can make things happen. And we're going in multitude on the same person. Things will change for that person. Now whether they recognize it or not, that's them. Okay? But they know somebody lifted up a voice a reasoning to the lord to help that person which is tiffany haddish and portia williams too okay but they're doing some foul stuff out here y'all they're doing some foul stuff that affects not only them but the people that they say they love that's ridiculous that's ridiculous because even with um tiffany haddish what if you did get in a situation you know it's always that what if and you gotta always have a plan a b c d e f g okay to get you out of whatever you caught yourself you wanting to be in you know what i'm saying ah uh -uh, no no sit your ass down if you under influence sit your ass down don't go nowhere okay better safe than sorry better safe than sorry people but that's all i got on this video guys kind of long but y'all know when y'all come over here i'm long-winded all right i don't necessarily all the time get down to the nitty-gritty i gotta always tell you my side and then i move on to what was given to me um uh, on whatever platform i was talking about giving them citing their sources and stuff of that nature and i also saw it on kempire as well okay kempire is another youtuber very successful out there has a podcast uh, does uh, interviews with celebrities and, and all that kind of stuff. He's he definitely rubbed heads with the right people. Very nice gentleman. If y'all wanted to go and check him out, I approve him. I do. <laughs> and he gives it to you straight, no chaser as well. So I like them kind of YouTubers, okay? Don't be sitting over here giving people passes and stuff. If they out there living fire hell, call them out on their shit. Because y'all call me out on my shit, all right? And then I have to agree with you or disagree with you. But we go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, all right? And I appreciate it because sometimes I do need to be checked. Sometimes I get all crazy, you know. I lose my mind here and there. I misspeak, misspoke. You know, sometimes I be sitting up saying shit. And I be like, I be trying to say what I'm saying. But it's not going to come out some kind of other way. You know, just hear what it is, okay? I know y'all got relatives like that, and I'm one of y'all relatives, so bear with me <laughs> when I'm telling my story. That's all I got, y'all, on Miss Tiffany Haddish. Um, I, 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 mm -mm, I don't give her a pass. I said, nope, throw the book out of here. Throw the book. She know better. I need her to do better. If everybody else out here had to toe the line, majority of us, then I want everybody else that I come in contact with to toe the line to. There's no reprieve. I need you to think about what you're doing before you do it because there are consequences. Where there's an action, there's a reaction. Where there's pros, there is cons. And I need my grown folks to be on their best behavior at all times. Especially my black ones. All right. Especially my black ones. All right. Y'all do better. Y'all do something like that. Think before you do it. You better think. Think. Think about what you're trying to do to me. Yeah. Think. Think, think that your mind gonna let yourself be free. That's Aretha, guys. And she gone from this plane of existence. But she was telling the truth. 
She was telling truth out there with that situation and that respect. R E S V C T. Y'all know how it go. I ain't got to keep singing to y'all. Y'all know I'm getting better, though. I'm getting better. I'm trying to see. No, I ain't got that yet. So I ain't got my, I ain't got my alto back yet. But it's coming. It's coming. With a lot of rest. A lot of, you know, um, what do you call it? Resting my voice, which y'all know I have a hard time doing. Uh, it's going to get there. And a lot of uh, zinc and vitamin C and uh, vitamin D. I'm taking it all in. Taking it all in stride. Long wind blood pressure medication. Things of that nature. Okay. But it's going to be good in the neighborhood. Always. Whether I'm here now or I'm gone to the uh, pearly gates. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be good because I left history with y'all. Y'all met me. Y'all know me. And I give it to you. However you want to get it from me. You can get it from me nicely. You can get it from me badly. But, you know, you got me. So, love y'all all. And I really do mean that. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.